Hello, I'm Emily Spaven. Welcome to Fintech Monthly, your roundup of the past month's top financial technology news. Brought to you by Tech City News and law firm Gowling WLG. The Tech City News Investment Tracker recorded five rounds raised by UK fintech companies in the past month totalling more than £108 million. Atom Bank kicked off the month of March with an £83 million investment. Investors included Spanish bank BBVA, fund manager Neil Woodford and Tosca Fund Asset Management. Currency Cloud, the cross-border payment platform, closed a £20 million Series D round from investors including GV, formerly Google Ventures. The company also received funding from existing investors Notion Capital, Sapphire Ventures, Rakuten Fintech Fund and Anthemis. Quantexa Limited raised a $3.3 million Series A round led by Albion Ventures and HSBC. Founded in March 2016, the London-based company uses big data analytics to tackle complex financial crime. Other UK fintech investments include the $1 million raised by savings app Oinky, the 1.2 million euro raised by another savings app Oval Money, and the 7.5 million pounds raised by Neighbour. Payment company Square launched in the UK enabling independent traders to take card payments with no monthly contracts. This is the fifth country in which Square is available, joining existing markets Canada, Japan, Australia and the US. Smart contracts, built on blockchain technology, facilitate peer-to-peer -peer exchanges, as their publicly available records create trust between individuals, where previously middlemen fulfilled this role for a fee. By removing the middlemen, it becomes feasible to invest and deal with much smaller amounts of capital, which would previously have been prohibitive due to the cost of affecting the transaction itself, which opens up financial markets to a whole new category of investors. Banks are also faced with a huge challenge of maintaining their massive ageing banking systems, which becomes ever harder and more risky when new functionality is added. Using new technologies, like smart contracts on the blockchain, gives banks a fresh route to affect payments without needing to rely on those creaky mainframe systems. UK challenger bank Monzo had the restrictions on its banking licence lifted and plans to start rolling out full current accounts to its prepaid card and beta app users. Early this year, Monzo closed the Series C funding round of £22 million. Last week was Fintech Week, a programme of events including the Innovate Finance Global Summit and the Financial Conduct Authority's International Innovate Seminar. At the government's first international fintech conference, Chancellor Philip Hammond announced Barclays is to open a fintech accelerator called London Rise, offering over 500 workspaces for startups. That's all for this roundup. For more fintech news, check out our website and follow us on Twitter.